Our next guest led the Gopher women's basketball team to the Final Four. She became the winningest head coach in program history. Pam Borton has since moved on from training college athletes to training corporate leaders. And she is out with a new book hoping to inspire everyone to achieve their goals. It's called The Crooked Rim. And we'll get to the details behind that title in just a little bit. But joining us live is Pam Borton. Good morning. Good to see you. Good morning. How are you doing, Shane and Kelly? We are doing well. It's good to talk to you. Uh, I think this is really interesting because people often think, obviously, they know you from your coaching days. Mainly, most people know you from your coaching days. And they think, okay, you've got these top-notch you know, college athletes. Maybe some of them go pro. Then you have these corporate CEOs. How does that relate to me, Joe Schmo, you know, <laughs> sitting at home? But you really bridged that gap really well. Talk a little bit why that's important to you and, and how you did bridge that gap. Um, well, the, the transition from bridging that gap to um, just transitioning into a um, corporate uh, senior executive coach was seamless. And just coaching elite athletes and developing them holistically was second nature and something that was ex we were expected to do physically, mentally, emotionally, and purposefully. And doing that for almost three decades, and most recently at the University of Minnesota for 12 years, I transitioned to, to help corporate CEOs, vice presidents, high performers, executive teams really develop those same skill sets. Um, not just their technical skills, but that mental game, that emotional game, that emotional intelligence, and really around their purpose and meaning, especially after the last um, couple of years. And so the crooked rim really focuses around, um, we all have crooked rims, especially in the last two years, we've all faced numerous crooked rims, setbacks, difficulties, challenges, mistakes, failures, and how we can overcome um, those daily. Some of us have more than others and how we can overcome those by just mastering our mindset is is a skill set that can be learned, trained, and practiced. Really fascinating. I have to talk to you too about, obviously you mentioned what the crooked rim means, but the cover, the picture of the farmhouse with the basketball hoop, you think corporate, you think athletes, and then farm doesn't come to mind, but that's something that ties into your upbringing, correct? It does, and I uh, learned you know, those, those lessons on a crooked rim, and I grew up on an Ohio farm out in the middle of nowhere, and obviously basketball was my love and I started shooting hoops at a crooked rim that was mangled. And of course I missed more than I made um, on that crooked rim, but it never stopped me. And it really built, uh, you know, that resilience muscle and that mental toughness. And, you know, obviously then, you know, coaching between those four lines at the barn, um, shooting basketball at the barn, coaching at the barn. And then my transition from a, you know, college basketball coach into a senior executive coach was also resilience and mastering my mindset. And then everything that I do today, I help those those clients um, and those teams really do the same. Yeah, it feels like we've all been shooting at a crooked rim for the last two. I think my <laughs> rim's actually missing so. half yeah, of it. Yeah. Like half of my rim is gone. I don't even know if I have a rim left. But uh, you say key here is really, uh, I mean, really mental toughness. And that can relate to anyone, whether it be a CEO, an athlete, or again, just an average person. And finding that strength and that toughness. In, how, do you, how do you find that when it's been such a rough few years? Well, we have to get to that resilience point first. We have to continue to nurture, foster, and develop that muscle of resilience. And that's, uh, you know, that self-doubt is building that confidence, you know, that support, that connectedness that we have in our lives. Learning and growing continuously, um, getting better, also helps with that resilience as well and that support system. But getting to that next level is mental toughness. And not many, make, many people make it to that level, about 1% of the people that make it there. And that's just adding that, that positivity, that positive energy, um, that optimism is, you know, every failure and setback that we have in our lives is we need to learn um, to find the positives from that, bring positive energy to negative meetings, bring positive energy to a setback or a mistake or failure. And being able to do that in your own life and then being able to do that for your team is just really the next level and that's mental toughness when we can add that dose of positivity into everything that we do. Yeah, sometimes it takes me a while to see what, what the uh, positive was in something, but it eventually you'll see it uh, in, in hindsight. You had a few tips though. I, I obviously, the book will give you everything that you need, but what are a few tips that you have for us today that would help us kind of get to this point? Again, we all need this push right now. Well, number one is, is 
saying, I want to do this, it's really mastering your mindset is, is saying that I want to do this and I want to get started. The second, the second thing is really developing a lot of self-awareness and really, you know, why am I feeling this way? You know, what are my triggers? You know, what are those things in my life that I need to, I need to fix. So really developing that, that self-awareness is really a key component. And then I would say the third thing is really taking personal responsibility and just saying, I got to hold myself accountable, get an account, accountability buddy to, to help you as well. But I think that is where you start. And then there's, you know, obviously strengthening your confidence, um, growth and development every single day. Um, you know, that, that um, you know, those relationships that you have around you as well are really, really important. And then how do we manage stress? Um, you know, these are, these are real holistic tools and strategies that you can add to your life daily to really um, dump that serotonin hormone into your brain to rewire it to not just look at the negative things, but everything that we do is, is that positive um, influence, that positive energy. Pam, are you still shooting hoops every once in a while? Oh gosh, <laughs> you know, I, I had to get away from it for a few years after almost three decades. Mm -hmm. Um, but I have a little neighbor boy that has a that has a hoop across the street, so I go over there and shoot a couple, and then, you know, but it, it's a crooked rim, so I feel right at home. There you go, good stuff, <laughs> Pam. Thanks so much. It's an honor to speak with you, and I hope that that little boy, your neighbor boy, realizes who he's shooting hoops with, with a legend, right? right? That's cool. <laughs> crooked rim is out All now. Right. You can find it wherever books are sold. Pam, thank you. Thank you.